Hello and welcome to another First Impressions video brought to you by MMO Play. Today we're taking a look at a free-to-play browser-based strategy game called War Story Online. This is going to be a turn-based strategy style, although kind of real-time-ish, and it's an MMO. It takes place in Europe. It is War Story Europe. Recently just became available in the US. It's been available over in Europe for a while. There are different factions, and you can see right here we're going through the tutorial just a little bit. And I'll go through the UI tutorial a little, and then I'll show one mission that I randomly went to. Taking place in Southern Europe, so we got Spain, Portugal, Italy, got the Mediterranean here, and get some good food. No. It's World War II, everything's gone to hell right now. There are not much in the way of in-game sounds during this part of the game. When you get into a battle, there's a little bit, so just keep that in mind. It gets awfully quiet, it's kind of lonely, but here we go, I got a tank. I'm going to send my tank over into a battle. This is a very simplistic battle tutorial, teaching you the basics. Loading up, and there we go. So it looks like we have three objectives to fight over, and you control your unit, click on it, and then you click where you want them to go. I could go straight up, I could go over to the flag. I could sit in my base and say, come get me. In the end, you want to kill your enemy. I can only assume that there is a strategic resource you gain from controlling points. Otherwise, I would wonder if there would be a bit of a stalemate issue. You know, you got to have some incentive for encouraging the battle to happen. Other than the little bugle horn in the beginning, though, not much in the way of sound. There we go. I got victory. You get graded, which will give you some uh, rewards. You lose it for taking damage, so if you're really efficient and can avoid a lot of damage, you can actually uh, get a pretty good grade. That's the battle itself. Now for the UI, you get a bunch of options. You can upgrade your guy. You can upgrade your commander, which right now I'm looking at messing with the tank. I'm gonna go and repair it. It is a free-to-play game, so you do get microtransactions. You can go ahead and instantly repair. You're given a decent amount of energy early on to get started, and you can go ahead and repair everybody up real quick. It's going to do a slightly more complicated battle, but I'm actually going to skip that and get into some more of the mechanics, and then one final fight at the end. Now that I finished that fight, I mean, that was real hard, right? Going over here, level up my commander. This is MMO Mander. And he's going to go ahead and get a bit of a tank specialist. I'm going to get better with my tanks. You can specialize your guy different ways. I think I really want to go just heavy on the tanks. And the tutorial is obviously guiding me a little bit. But I think in general I'd want to go just get them. And watch out for their grenadiers. I don't want them dropping grenades in my stuff. I guess bombers would be a threat too. And buy the artillery. You can buy new units. You can upgrade your units. I could go and buy tank plating for my tanks, which definitely I'm going to do. And then, of course, if they get injured, you can repair them. Since this is a whole map of Europe, you can just fly around. So right now I'm going to travel to another battlefield. It does take time. So this takes eight seconds, which we'll see in a minute when the, uh, the thing pops up. There's my plane slowly flying there. And when we get to this location, we can head to a battle in this area. And then from there, you can go ahead and it's just like any other fight. So you do have to travel around. There is a bit of a time delay. So that's the uh, bit of a, you know, the turn-based style, but not quite turn-based. It's real-time-ish. It sometimes turns will just take a while. Or there's also the energy system. You run out of energy, you gotta wait. But now we've got three units. You can just maneuver them around a little bit more. There's also flanking. Your guys that are flanking don't get attacked. So I could go ahead and send one guy up and then one guy right and the one that goes up could eventually swing to the right and it'll be flanking he won't be able to be attacked on top of that right now i can also have a guy in reserve i have abilities right now i'm bombarding which oh my infantry just walked into whoops i don't know if it's friendly fire or not and then i have another like war cry ability that kind of give everyone a little bit of a buff those abilities are they pop up during the battle top left and they're on a bit of a cooldown now, let's go ahead and see a slightly more complicated fight. I'm actually going to go ahead and pick one at random. In preparing for the fight, I am going to go and upgrade my tank a bit, so I do have some free play currency. You do have the option to buy premium currency, so there is 
the the gold, the one on the right, is the premium currency. I'm gonna go ahead and get some extra plating, and I just don't wanna die. I'm getting ready for a random flight. I have no idea how hard it is. Now that I've flown to the location I'm gonna fly to, getting my battle ready, loading up the screen, and I do have the, uh, lots of armor. Like I said, I wanted to focus on the tanks, didn't I? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be splitting up here. I'm the top right right now, by the way. So I do have my one artillery and my one tank. Looks like they have three tanks. I'm jealous. So I'm gonna send three guys to one location, one guy down here. My uh, initial plan was I was gonna send two and two. So there's Blitzkrieg. And there I'm gonna also drop an artillery strike on his main clump, which is kind of nice. So this one's didn't split up evenly. And it looks like my infantry is actually hunkered down pretty good against the tank, so he's not going to die instantly. The three up there, it's three on three fight. I used Blitzkrieg, and I also did drop a, a strike on the other guy, so they're wearing down pretty quick. My one guy is not dying. It looks like it's a pretty even fight. And my infantry looks like he will eventually lose. And everyone... All right. Controlling is a little bit awkward. You have to click. I didn't see a way to box. But look, you can't move diagonally. That's helpful. And I'm going to drop another strike on that tank. So I'm taking lots of damage. And then my reinforcements arrive. And that's it. That's a look at War Story Europe. Check it out. It's available for free in your browser. Thanks for watching. Click the content. Stay tuned to more. Bye.